sweep some more and cut out the comb because if we got the queen, mm -hmm. we should have the queen because she had to be around that brood. Yeah. So if, if we got her, I mean, she wouldn't be up above there. Southern Indiana? But I think I'd, I'd, feel, better. Been removed. I'd feel better doing that. We'll fill this comb up here with, uh, with we'll cut out some honey sections and put in that. And then we'll, uh, All of that is honey. That gives those bees a break in there from being under a vacuum too. So, I like I say, I I think it'd be a good idea to keep them remote for a week and then move them, move them over. <laughs> as mean as they are. Oh man. Well, there at the beginning, I thought if this whole cutout's gonna be this way, but as soon as we got the majority of the guard bees taken care of, well, they they weren't uh, playing around, man. No, no, they meant business. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a few pieces of comb to put in that last frame. Quit goofing off here. Just, hey, man, Christmas. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Christmas in July. I, I mean, what did I do with my knife? See, this is, Mike, this is why I say you don't need to feed bees. Nobody fed these bees. <laughs>